Hi everyone, Danielle McInnes speaking. Today I wanted to give you a snapshot of one of my favourite tools which is wufu.com. It's a survey tool and it's often the starting point um, when I'm sitting down with small businesses because often they don't know enough about their customers or haven't accessed that sort of feedback so that they can um, test some of their assumptions, especially around the value that they offer in that um, communication. So what I wanted to do today was just quickly walk you through how you use this tool. So I'm just logging into the login, but obviously when you start, you can start with an account that's free actually um, under the settings, so that's a really great thing. Um, and then this is my dashboard, it shows me, me all of the various surveys that I've done. Um, and because I've done so many, I can then duplicate a form. So if I wanted to do a um, satisfaction survey, I could go down and find an existing one that I've done. But for today, I'll just do a new form so you can see how this works. It's really, really simple. Um, it's just a click and then you go over to this um, side and put in down survey and then you can put in your description. Survey, or you might put some information about the survey so that people know, and then you're in a position to start adding fields, and so they give you these drop down menus. Often you start with things like the name, address, um, it could be if it's a form for your database, for example, you could put in that. Um, you might want their email address, and then you can go into more complicated fields which, um, which you can select. Um, from a multiple choice menu, um, do you like dance pasta sauce? And then you could put in, you know, the choice yes, no, fine. Um, so it gives you that option to be able to um, basically create your own survey. Once you've finished with that you can actually save it. You can set up some email notifications so that when I show you how to put this on the website, it actually comes through you. So in this case, I put Kings Marketing. So I put in you. And then I'd save that notification. And then I'd go back up into the form. And under here, it gives you lots of options. And if you wanted to put this on your website, you would just grab a piece of code on this tab and it, then it gives you lots of choices you can embed the form code which is actually embedding that whole form on your website you can just have a link on your website to that form and so you can see how this is useful um, in terms of being able to capture information from your um, from your website or from your blog Let's say, for example, though, you didn't want to use that form and you wanted to use a new form, but you wanted to see what they had as perhaps some forms. Um, so then you can go into this thing called Wufu Form Gallery. So say if you didn't want to start from scratch and you just wanted to see what Wufu had, um, you, can, you can basically just copy one of theirs. So this is the join the mailing list. So you can grab that one, the contact form, and you pretty much just save it and then customise it as you need to. They've got lots in here, lead generation forms, um, lots and lots of information that you can cater for or use. And then say I wanted to do that, I would click and add it to my Wufu. And there it is. And then additionally, I can go in and say if I wanted to keep that form, I can pick a default theme, which we can set up for you. And then if I want to look at it, I can just click on it and it will give me on a page what that form would look like. So very, very simple and effective tool. I use it a lot on my website to capture information, um, which just means that if you've got a closed loop, but particularly when you're starting off, it's a good idea to, um, I'll just show you one of mine, to, um, you know, to get one of these so that you can start collecting great data. Hope this was helpful.